Hi everybody, today we're here in Hollywood, right off Sunset, with one of the stars of Shaws of Sunset, Lily Galici. How are you Hi, today? I'm good, thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much. And who's this gorgeous little girl? This is Coconut. She is the real star of the Shaws of Sunset. Look at her, she even poses for the camera. That's gorgeous. right. So Lily, you have so much going on. How do you A do lot. This? How do you do this all? You know what? Sometimes I ask myself the same question. It's so much, but I love every minute of it. I mean, from lashes, Lily lashes, to your swimsuit line, which mm -hmm. is called, you've coined a new phrase for it. And it's swim jure. Swim jure. I mean, amazing. It's called Half Faith Swim Jure, and swim jure is a word I created by mixing lingerie and swimwear. So it's exactly what it sounds like, lingerie inspired swimwear. Right. And you know, there is a trend that I saw emerging of these pool parties where girls were doing anything but swimming. Absolutely. They're in full like hair. You can't swim in seven inch heels, right? No. I mean, you could try, you probably could, right? No. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> but exactly, high heels, yeah. hair, makeup, they're never even touching the water. So I realized that these girls, they just wanna look as hot as possible. So I decided to create a bikini line that made them look as hot as possible. Yeah, and you've done it. Thank you. And you, do you love it? I love it, and I have a partner. Her name is Jennifer Stano. She's hot, gorgeous. She models a lot for us. So it's so fun for two young women yeah. to just, you know, let out their passion and their creativity and to create things that you see on other people. Right. Well, you know, and the thing I like about you is you create out of necessity because obviously you were talking about you saw a need right. for these pool parties. Tell us about the lashes, same kind of so, thing. So right? the lashes actually got created because of the reality show. I'm filming for Shaw's and we started creating our own and meshing them together. And we decided, you know what? We're gonna make this for everyone. Yeah. So we custom designed lashes and Lily Lashes was born. Well, you know what I noticed just off the bat is that when I was looking at your lashes, which are Lily Lashes, they're not completely even. And no. you got a lot of texture in there. Yeah, so individuals are something okay. that we love, which are also in our line. So we like to stack things. So we'll wear one strip, sometimes two strips, and then we'll throw in individuals just to give it that extra wispy glam look. It's great, love it. Thank you, Good and job. I usually rock bottoms yeah. as well. We have bottom strips, bottom individuals. I'm not wearing any today. These are my natural bottoms, but that's just because you're at my house yeah. in the middle of the day. Yeah. Maybe once we go up to the roof to do the photo shoot, Might throw some bottoms we'll in. throw some in. And then hair is a big deal for you. Hair, I love hair. So I go by the phrase Galici Glam, which is my last name, love Galici. It. Anything glam related, I'm gonna be obsessed with. Hair, makeup, fashion, anything and everything. So. I'm from Texas, and hey. the bigger the hair, the closer to God. Yeah. I love big hair. And I'm Persian on yeah. top of that. So Persian girls already have this really full, yeah. luscious hair. Mine wasn't quite as glamorous as I hoped it to be, so I use clip-in extensions. Okay. I am a huge fan of extensions. I don't recommend permanent ones, just from personal experience. Pulling on the scalp. Yeah, the you know, and it stuff. causes thinning, bald spots. Yeah, it can be really devastating. And for a girl like me that spends most of her week working, I don't need glam hair nine to five. So clip-ins are so easy. You clip them on, you take them off, no commitment. Again, I only use real human hair. Right. And I wear lily hair. Lily hair. So you. Yeah. So not only do you get your eyelashes, mm -hmm. your glam wear, swimwear, mm -hmm. and now the hair. That's right. Entrepreneurial. I love That's it. That's right. I love it. I love creating things, and I love sharing the things that I love and create with everybody else. Wow. So that's your life right now and your businesses. So how did you get involved with this crazy show called Shaws of Sunset? Well, Shaws of Sunset filmed season one. I was actually approached to cast for season one. Okay. I decided against it. I had just started my bikini line. I was super busy. I was trying to work things out. I just decided it wasn't the right time or the place to be doing a reality show. The first season saw really great success, great ratings, and they approached me again a second time to cast for season two. So this time I decided to go for it yeah. and I was picked and it's been a roller coaster. Yeah. It's been a pretty long. You know, I know you don't want to say too much, but I'm <laughs> I'm sure you have stories, but you know, it's it's very different for me. I grew up a very sheltered life. I didn't party much. I didn't go out. I don't drink alcohol personally. I have same here. I can relate to that. Yeah, I have nothing against it, but I just I don't like it. So to be thrown into this group of friends that are wild, outrageous, yeah. partying, drinking, it was a little bit of a culture shock for me. 
but I had an amazing summer with them and I'm so glad to have experienced those things and it truly does make me a better person. Maybe I'm not gonna go, you know, clubbing without them, right. but I'm glad that I, I tried it and it really does humble you as a person to live through other people's eyes. That's amazing. Yeah. And I know that the thing is, you know, sometimes on reality TV shows, mm -hmm. they kind of depict you a certain way by how they edit. Right. And I know that from, you know, watching the show, I noticed that there's a certain image that, you know, you feel you might have, but in real life, I mean, you're the biggest sweetheart in the world. Thank you. Yeah. So reality shows should be taken for what they are. They're entertainment. Sure. Now, by no means is our show scripted or fake, but they do selectively show an over the top outrageous version of yourself. So, you know, I am over the top glam obsessed, which comes through on the show. I can be accused of being snobby. Okay. And that's only because I don't like to party, I don't like right. to drink, but I'm not a mean girl. I'm not, you know, as conceited as I might come across on the show, but it's all in fun and that was me. I really said those things, I really did those things. The show is just made in a way to make it as entertaining as possible. Absolutely. Well, I noticed that you really do have a great way of letting things just roll right off your back. Oh yeah, I don't give a f excuse yeah, my French. Yeah, you know, I'm the kind of girl that I, I really don't care if somebody wants to criticize me for something that is harmless. Right. Granted, if I'm doing something wrong, if I'm hurting people, doing something illegal, those criticisms are well warranted. But if you're gonna tell me that my hair is too big, right. or I wear too much makeup, or something like that, you know what, this is my life, I'm gonna live it the way I want, you live your life. If how I look bothers you, that's your problem. Hey, you must be doing something right if they're talking about you, right? That's right. There you That's go. That's right. So what's in the future for you? What kind of other things are you working on? And there are so many things that I want to do. I literally want to conquer the world. I can tell. But. <laughs> okay, but you're practical about it, right? I want to put that on hold and I want to find Mr. Right. Really? I'm turning 30 this year. Kids? You thinking about kids? You know, I would love to have kids. I want to be a mother. I want to be a wife. and. I've never taken those things seriously. I've had one boyfriend my whole life. Wow. One. And you're 30 years old. And I'm 30 years old. That's and amazing. even that boyfriend is not really a real boyfriend because we've had a long distance relationship for most of our relationship. And I've always been okay with it. I'm not the girl that needs somebody. I'm more occupied and busy with everything that I want to do and sure. accomplish. But I don't want to wake up and be 39, right. turning 40, and I've had all this success and I've achieved such great things, but I'm all alone. Think about freezing some eggs maybe, just to be practical? The fact that I've even <laughs> thought about that right. is really it's, You know what, honestly, it's not such a bad idea, you know? I know. It's because you'll, later on, you know, it's the man you choose, so. It's true. You never know, and they're always more viable when you're younger. It's true. So you I wish the it. man I, I got would just shape it up. Really? Yeah. Get but, it. you know, it's hard, because he's an entrepreneur himself, he's an attorney, okay. and he has a very successful firm established in Texas, so for him to just pick up and leave, it's difficult. It's hard to find somebody special and that it you is. love, which is why I've stuck to the same guy for 11 years. It's it's hard, but with that said, I don't believe in just one soulmate. I think that there's many people on earth that you can have a connection with and a bond with. Right. It's just up to you to put the effort to find them. I don't think they're just gonna come fall into your lap. You have to get out there, you have to be social, right. and willing to give people a chance. A little bit of luck, a little bit of actually work too. That's right. Lily, wow, what a great day. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun and I think Coconut had the best. Coconut, she was such a good girl. She was. She's a star, she's a diva. Pretty much, you right? just wait. Oh, I know. She's like, like, look out, look out, Rin Tin Tin. Here comes Coconut. She's gonna be walking the runway before you know it. Louis Vuitton. She has her own agent. Oh, she does, yeah. does she? Yeah, and her own Instagram and Twitter. Wow, hello, Just how you doing? Well, we gotta make sure that everybody knows where to get your goods and services too. So what's that website again, one more time? Halffate.com for the bikinis, Lily Lashes for the lashes, and Lily Hair for the extensions. Wow, okay. A lot of Lily going on. Yeah, a lot of Lily, and we love Lily. Well, thank you, thank you for coming and getting a glimpse into my world. It was amazing, it was thank very amazing. So and you know what, 
Good luck on everything you're doing. You too. You keep up the steam because uh, you know what? You're really moving. Thank you so much. All right. We're going to go do a photo shoot now. Oh, I'm so can't excited. Wait. And uh, it seems pretty exciting. Now we got three looks planned today. I can't wait, and I can't wait for you guys to all see it. So uh, until next time, everybody, thank you for being here. And just remember to enjoy. enjoy.